In 1985, the cities of Glasgow and Nuremberg signed an agreement to formalise their long-standing friendship and become twin cities. The concept of twinning dates back to the post-war years and was seen as a way to bring European people into a closer understanding of each other and to promote cross-border projects of mutual benefit. The signing between Glasgow and Nuremberg confirmed a friendship which dates back to the 1950s and the establishment of a cultural institution in Bavaria to promote contacts with Scotland. During this time, the very first school exchange also took place between the two cities. Back then, the Scottish pupils who took part in the exchange recall that they were hand-picked and were required to attend classes in various subjects for a whole year before the visit took place. All their hard work paid off, and the visit was so successful that it was repeated the following year. By the mid-70s, the former Strathclyde region had established several school exchange programmes, while the Nuremberg Youth Welfare Office started youth exchange visits in cooperation with the Scottish Education Department. Over the years, the programme of activities between Glasgow and Nuremberg has expanded to include as large a cross-section of our citizens as possible, and to cover the full range of their interests, from social, educational and artistic endeavours through to commercial links and trade. It's official. Germany is in love with all things Scottish, and this is never more evident than at the annual Bern Supper, held in the last few years at the Grand Hotel in Nuremberg. In the great spirit of twinning, Nuremberg supplies the food and accommodation, and Glasgow brings the musicians, Highland dancers, whiskey, and most importantly, the haggis. This annual Glasgow weekend kicks off with a Cayley at Langwasser, a suburb of Nuremberg. This is a more informal affair than the Burns Supper and a great chance for the Nuremberg citizens to show off their Scottish country dancing. The Burns Supper is one of the highlights of Nuremberg's social season, with world-class Highland dancers, the ever-faithful Cole Bums Cayley Band and seasoned Burns performers. This showcases Scotland's heritage and traditions. Crossing Illusion was Glasgow's contribution to Blaunacht, an arts event which takes place in Nuremberg every year in May. Glasgow artist Nicola Atkinson and Glasgow lighting designer Nick Smith created a participatory performance sound and lighting installation which examined the experience of travel and asked the question, has freedom of travel been lost? Around 120,000 people experienced this wonderful art and light installation, music and performances in Nuremberg's famous Rat House or City Hall and surrounding courtyards. A collaboration between fashion and design students of the Berufsschule in Nuremberg and North Glasgow College culminated in a joint collection with the theme of perceptions of national dress. These designs were showcased in a dazzling catwalk show in Nuremberg as part of the 25th anniversary celebrations. A pipe band from Nuremberg were the lucky recipients of some first class tuition from pipe major Ian MacDonald, who held a piping workshop in Nuremberg in June. The outcome of this great tuition is that the Nuremberg band have now been invited along with Ian's pipe band to a traditional music festival in Strakonice in the Czech Republic. An up-and-coming rapper, Soom T, brought her own original take on being a Glasgow girl to Club Desi in Nuremberg, a club set up to help integrate young immigrants and asylum seekers into the life of the city. Collaboration between a youth club in Nuremberg and young dancers from Y Dance, a dance and fitness programme which operates in Glasgow schools, led to a joint project between the two organisations. This culminated in a dance performance in Glasgow City Chambers, which was created by choreographers from Nuremberg and Glasgow. The next stage of the project is to visit Nuremberg by the Glasgow group of dancers to participate in a dance festival alongside their new friends from Nuremberg. 
we are two cities in Europe. We are looking forward. We have a comparable history as old industry cities. Normally it would be wonderful and fine if each group of citizens would benefit from a, a twinning, but first of all I think it's good for young people. But I think also artists, musicians, uh, all who bring some culture of Nuremberg to Glasgow and vice versa. What I learned from, from Glasgow is something about city development, something how you can change the face of a city after being cultural capital of Europe as Glasgow has been. So I think there can be also some serious uh, subjects for politicians and for the administration of both cities. The twinning between Glasgow and Nuremberg has been a very, very successful one. I'm sure it's one that will be sustained and I'd be certain that 25 years from now uh, we'll be celebrating the 50th anniversary of this uh, this, this twinning and I'm able to say that I think because of the very real benefits that uh, both cities and their citizens are gaining out of the uh, twinning relationship that we, we have. Many friendships sustained, many communications developed between uh, peoples of our, of our cities and as I look forward to the next 25 years I'm quite sure that building on the solid base that we now have we'll take this relationship forward and will prove to be one of the best winnings which the city of Glasgow has with any other city in the world. Dear friends of Glasgow, to the next 25 years of twinning, we love you from Nuremberg.